Hello there guys, Coaster Child here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update uh, where today we're going to be looking at Carowind and some potentially very exciting news uh, about a brand new roller coaster that could be happening uh, after some uh, section of car park was fenced off uh, in the style of Copperhead Strike, the same way that Copperhead Strike site was originally fenced off. Uh, so potentially very exciting here for Carowind. Uh, before we get into any theme park news though, I I uh, publicly want to personally send uh, my best wishes out to Christian Eriksen and his family uh, after what happened. You'll know what happened if you if you watch the game, and um, you know stuff like that should not be happening. And um, you know I send my best wishes to him on his recovery, to his family. You know, th thank goodness he's alive. Um, and you know it puts it puts life into perspective. It puts everything into perspective. So I want to send my uh, best wishes out to to Christian Eriksen and his his family uh, on his recovery in hospital uh, over in Copenhagen right now. Um, but the show moves on. We have to move on, and uh, we keep Christian's um, you know recovery as as hope you know for us. And uh, you know we send him his best in his recovery. Um, but yeah. Uh, before we get started with talking about the information that we found out, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions uh, on this news, and also uh, comment down below your prayers for Christian Eriksen as well. Uh, make sure you do uh, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Uh, also guys, check the description out for social media links and also um, the so, uh, Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas. Uh, if you want to, uh, this is not really the, the video for it. This is just a video for some positive news, you know, after some some positive, encouraging news after a, a horrible situation today. And uh, for now, guys, uh, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Carowinds. So the picture you saw me in front of was the picture that Carowinds fans only post on Instagram in the last few hours. And it was a new fence in the Carolina Harbour parking lot. A very similar fence to what was seen for the Copperhead Strike construction. Now, obviously this is not going to confirm anything. However, uh, the image that you're seeing on your screen right now at the moment uh, is actually a Google Maps version of the site. Now, if you sort of link this up with the, uh, the old Dinosaurs Alive site, uh, this very much resembles a layout for a potential roller coaster. Now, do I think a new roller coaster is coming? Well, I'm going to explain more about my thoughts on this uh, in a little bit. Uh, but this is just to give you an example of the site. Of course, Dinosaurs Alive, uh, the park's old former uh, walkthrough attraction. Um, obviously themed to, to dinosaurs you had the the dinosaurs roaming around as you as, as you as you walk around uh, the dinosaurs and uh, obviously the dinosaurs live attractions did start to die off around the cedar fair theme parks you know quite a lot over recent years and uh this was one of the ones to perish now of course we were rumoring uh a, a you know a, a coaster um you know, around that site, or there was rumours of a, an antique car ride as well. Uh, obviously, those rumours are still open in the air at the moment, but uh, it should be very interesting to see uh, where this is going now. So let me just share my thoughts on what I think could be going on right here at Carowinds for the following season. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is talking about um, the Carowinds stuff. Obviously, Carol, uh, Carowinds fan site. Massive shout out to you for the image that I'm stuck behind. Well, sat behind right now. <laughs> um, obviously, you know this is where the, the area is fenced off. The Carolina Harbor Car Park, or a section of the Carolina Harbor Car Park. But it was a very similar situation to Copperhead Strike, and 2022 uh, will be, you know, three years since since Copperhead Strike, and you know it's not too long. For a new roller coaster, it's, it's certainly a, a decent gap for a roller coaster. But I got to be honest here: if this is going to be a brand new coaster, it was definitely sooner than I expected because I think Carolines, Carolines was probably sort of in the roads for like a 2024, 25 coaster. Um, so that was sort of my thinking process anyway. Um, but it, it's very interesting. It is very, very interesting. Now, in terms of if we're going on the basis of this is going to be a coaster and not the antique car ride that's been rumoured for that site for next season in the past few months, um, what coaster do I think they're going to add? Well, I was talking through it with Thrill Quirk, who's uh, a Six Flags Over Georgia home park area guy. Uh, his home park was Six Flags Over Georgia. Um, uh, shout out to Thrill Quirk for the conversation. And... 
you know, I think he sort of put together two major suggestions. I think the rat, I think he sort of said an RC Raptor is probably least likely. Um, in t in two, two, well, two, a top three. Let's say a top three. So he put together a top three in a way. And he said uh, maybe a ground up hybrid, because if you think about it, there's no plans at the minute to RMC Hurler, which is, of course, their uh, current wooden coaster, or one of their current wooden coasters. So I think that, you know, since there's no plans to. Uh, RMC Harla, you need a wooden coaster. Uh, oh, he's, he wants to create an RMC coaster uh, instead of bringing in a new wooden coaster in RMC Harla. Then, then you would do the ground up, and it is cheaper than the thirty million dollars reported for Copperhead Strike. So, I think that a ground up hybrid with iBox Track is not completely out of the question. I think that. Um, you know, I think that obviously Zadra Energy Landia was a ground up RMC. The blueprint seems right for it, and uh, it would be a decent sized investment. Uh, now, one of the other suggestions for me is a ground up GCI. Uh, a proper twister GCR, like a Mystic Timbers type coaster, just to give you that that, that extra wooden coaster. Because, uh, of course, they do have Hurler. So I think that, even though no, Hurler's not the best rated coaster, they're trying to make little improvements to it here and there sometimes, but, you know, it's not it's not the best coaster in the world, is it? And I think that if you bring in, like, a Mystic Timbers style twister GCI wooden coaster, I think that'll be a great addition to the lineup. It'll give you a modern wooden coaster. Another route that could go down is a B&M dive coaster. Now, I could be wrong about this, uh, but if you think about it, this site's right next to Afterburn, which the which the Bulgarian might be our roller coaster. So they could go with the B&M dive to sit next to um, Afterburn. So I think that B&M wouldn't be completely out of the question. It's just in terms of the footprint, there's only one way they, they would go, and that is the dive. Um, so I think it's between three for me. It's between uh, B&M Dive, an RMC ground-up iBox hybrid, and a or a, a GCI in the style of Mystic Timbers, where it's like a twister type layout. So, or a GCI twister. And they might do a little hashtag what's in the shed kind of thing. But to be fair, they kind of did that with Copperhead Strike with the Granny Secret Recipe kind of thing. So they can't really do a repeat of what hashtag what's in the shed in their own way because they've already done it with Copperhead Strike with the, you know, what's in the factory kind of thing. <laughs> if anyone's remember that one. Um... But I think it should be interesting. It should be really, really interesting. Now, obviously, you've got to look at the other side of it, which is the antique car rumour. Obviously, the Dinosaurs Live site was the rumoured site for an antique car ride. Do I think that's still a possibility? 110%. I'm going 50% antique car ride, 50% roller coaster, but it should be interesting. What are your thoughts on this? Please comment down below on this. And for now, guys, uh, my name is uh, Aaron Chalner from Coast Child YouTube channel. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a carol fantastic day. Pray for Christian Erickson. Hope you uh, recover well, mate. I really hope you do.